Everyone, you know that we are not a Marvel Legends channel, but every now and then there comes that Marvel Legends that I just have to get. I am a huge uh, Spider-Man supporter. Spider-Man has always been in my life, always will, even when um, Marvel messed up the DCU. I said, that's it, but if they make anything Spider-Man, I'll watch it. I'll get it. I had this guy on pre-order for months. Totally forgot about it. So when the box came from Big Bad Toy Stores, I didn't know what the hell it was. But here we are. Marvel Amazing Fantasy. Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. Alright. Marvel Legends from Hasbro Toys. Let's get them out the box. Of course, as you know, as you know, Hasbro wanted to do their carbon footprint for society and give us cardboard and papers that fall out of the box like instructions and stuff and when they did that McFarlane said more plastic and I was like okay thank you because at least with more uh, with McFarlane you know what's coming in the box for real but this is still an endangerment to the environment is it not unless this dissolves in water this is still an endangerment to the little cute little animal life whatever this this is hitting let's get that out the way this is hitting a lot I like this this hits a lot of buttons oh look at that logo I was always a huge fan of the uh, the logo I never like all these um Cut joints though. Cut joints make me sick. Drop down with hips that they're doing now. I don't like it. But this is looking good. Let's see if he can stand up on his own right there. Yes, he does. Okay, whatever the hell is in here. Let's see what we got in here. Feels like a web. Oh. Okay. Not bad. Got a little whip, whipping action. Even though I custom made my own, as y'all know. I remember from the channel earlier, I made my own with bendy wire. So we're gonna be using that. And in the last little bag, we have a lot of hands and some more webbing. Always make sure everything is out because they leave everything in there. We have a lot of webbings, a lot of hands. These are the ones that are supposed to go under his, um, under his armpits. You know, like when he's um, flying down like a squirrel, jumps off a building, he's gliding. Yeah, let's see what we got going. Okay, so we got the webs, the small ones under his armpits. Pretend he just jumped down from the Daily Bugle and splat right into your liver room. That looks nice. I've seen videos where people's armpit webs was just falling all out of the place. These are staying put. They're staying put. I like it. That looks good. Did I do it right though? I don't know. And here we are with the second set. Meow. Yeah, boy. I'm liking that. I like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool little touch. Let's do the articulation. Articulation wise, all his joints are nice and perfectly stiff. Just the way I like them. Fresh out the package, untouched, they should be stiff. The joints should be very, very stiff. And I love that. Arms. Look at that double jointed elbows. You love to see that, right? You love to see that. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. He kicks his own ass. Beautifully. Beautifully. He kicks his own ass. Speaking of ass, his ass is very flat. Very, very flat. But he got some quads on him. He got some quads on him, and he has a um, front meat for you uh, nasty females. Butterfly joints. Now these are butterfly joints, not McFarlane. These are butterfly joints. His head, side to side, way up. Look at that. Way down. When he's looking at Mary Jane giving him... Anyway, let's pop his head off. There he is with no head. Head goes back on. Beautiful stuff. Now, I would have loved for him to have had a Peter Parker head. That would have been great. That would have been great stuff. Let's do some comparisons. Right here we have a, we have a, what is he called? 
Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man is standing in between two WrestleMania XL Cups from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here he is standing in between two Storm Collectible Mortal Kombat figures. We have Liu Kang and we have Reptile. And here we have Amazing Fantasy standing in between two McFarlane Mortal Kombat figures, whose company also debunked. We have Liu Kang and we have the GameStop Edition Frosty Sub-Zero. There's something about GameStop and the Frosty figures. And here we have Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man standing in between two custom DC Multiverse 7 inch figures by McFarlane. We have Steel, which I did a full paint job from, Wired Cape, and we have this dude right here who I fused with a Terminator figure. I wanted him to look real, real menacing and different. We have your boy Cyborg <coughs> Superman with my wife coughing in the background. Thanks, babe. And enough with the damn comparisons. Here is Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man with the rest of of my Spider-Man in my collection except six-armed Spider-Man because for some reason I can't find my six-armed Spider-Man. I don't know where he went. He disappeared. He just got up and left. As you see this little freaky little guy right here who I got off of AliExpress. He's one of those um, fake Sentinel versions where you can make like two different, tire two different attires. Comes with a plethora of accessories. But anyway yeah, great figure, glad I got it, a surprise to me because I totally forgot about the pre-order, but I'm happy I got it, look at Mary Jane, so happy I got it, and um, I gotta add more to my Spider-Man collection, thanks for watching this crazy, wild, stupid video about Marvel Legends, even though this is a DC Multiverse heavy channel, I appreciate y'all, later.